All right, we are in early warning weather alert mode as a severe thunderstorm watches up for Litchfield County. It runs until 11 o'clock tonight, so we're still several hours away from storms even reaching western Connecticut. You can see on the state's only live Doppler radar, uh, we are dry border to border. Otherwise, it's pretty warm. It's pretty humid, especially across the western half of the state where we've seen a little bit more in the way of sunshine temps between 80 and 85. Meanwhile, eastern Connecticut in the 70s, Groton right now at 68 degrees. But uh, we've got the southerly wind at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. So a bit on the breezy side, but that's also helping to transport in this very humid air mass uh, dew point values up to oppressive levels 70 to 75 uh, in communities across the state. There you can see from our view in Waterbury, we do have some breaks in the clouds some patches of blue 80 there in the brass city. Our view from stores looking primarily cloudy at this point and checking out the scene from Old Saybrook a little bit cooler again. Coastal Southeast Connecticut with that flow coming in off the sound and a lot more cloud cover there. So the cloud cover throughout Southeast Connecticut actually in association with Claudette that has become a tropical storm again as it's moving away from the East Coast now, but we're watching storms off to our west flaring up uh, in advance of a cold front. Uh, you can see really hot air to our west where we've seen temperatures uh, reach 85 to 90 where the sun has been out. Again, the cloud cover here is going to help stabilize those, the storms as they uh, or the atmosphere is more stable here, so storms will weaken as they move from west to east into southern New England. So the greatest threat for severe weather, again, off to our west, storms tend to weaken as they head into southern New England after sunset. So looking at the big picture, the front makes its way through Connecticut tomorrow with an ongoing chance for some scattered showers. Not expecting any sort of severe weather for our Tuesday, but perhaps a rumble or two of thunder. Can't rule it out. So in the meantime, this evening you can see 10, 11 o'clock tonight, storms in a weakening kind of uh, form here working into western Connecticut and then pushing farther east and dissipating overnight. We'll see some patchy fog develop and then tomorrow primarily cloudy skies can be expected for our Tuesday, perhaps some breaks of sun here and there. And I think future cast is probably underdoing the shower chance tomorrow afternoon and evening. So you'll certainly want to have an umbrella on hand overnight tonight. No big drop in temperature, basically 65 to 70. So warm and muggy overnight tonight with some patchy fog again toward daybreak tomorrow. Scattered showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm temperatures top out between 75 and 80. So behind that front, high pressure builds in for Wednesday and Thursday. That means a lot of sunshine, lower humidity morning low temperatures back in the 50s upper 70s Wednesday afternoon uh, 80 to 82 on Thursday afternoon which is great great timing for the Travelers Championship as it kicks off at the TPC River Highlands. We'll start to notice an increase in humidity on Friday. We'll end the week with temps in the upper 70s and low 80s. And then for the upcoming week, and I think Saturday's primarily dry, sun and clouds 80 to 85. There's a chance for some isolated thunderstorms by Sunday afternoon uh, with temperatures 80 to 83, uh, but not a washout by any means. For shoreline highs, again, over the coming days, uh, looking for them to be in the upper 70s until this weekend, then right near 80 for both Saturday and Sunday.